All right, you guys, I got some gear here. Holy moly. Got this whole big package for a little titanium spoon. Sure, I'll use that package for something else. Hmm. Super lightweight. I also got some better rope for uh, my dog and my bear bag and um, my tarp. So, yeah, I won't need all of this, but um, some of it will replace the heavier duty stuff that I already had. I also ordered some steaks to go with my hammock. I don't need all of these. I'll probably just bring four. And I came with a little bag that I don't know if I'll use that or something else. But so. And what else did we get? Ooh, mushers. And I also got uh, odor-proof, waterproof, whatever bags. Ew, that big bag's a lot bigger than I thought. But I need one of these for food, and I need one of these for dog crap. Hey you guys, so I'm pretty sure my plan is going to be February 29th, early that morning, I leave here and start driving to Georgia where I will return the rental car and get a shuttle to Amicalola. So maybe the second at Amicalola and the third start off at Springer. Something like that. We'll see how it works out, you guys. Um, that's all I know for now. Ooh, and I do have a surprise. Uh, support team surprise for my Smokies maneuver with the dog. So um, I'm gonna save that for later. Okay, so it's February 1st, it is 36 degrees at the moment, and it is like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and we're out walking. Usually we're out here at the track of dawn, so this is a little different for us today. But we spent all day finishing up um, some stuff for my trip, and my daughter had a cheering competition, and they got first place for Division 1, so... That's very exciting. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of them at the William S. Cohen School in Bangor. Yay. They, that's the second time that they got first place this year. Um, they did a really good job. So I restitched this. I guess I could have lined that Velcro up a little bit better to make them tighter, but they're still just not really working out 100%. I'm probably just gonna buy Yak Tracks, I think, and call it good. No sign of the owl, but we are gonna go home and um, I'm gonna show you my pack all set and ready to go. Um, uh, Amicalilla what it will look like etc etc okay guys so i'm gonna do my best to get out at least weekly updates for you um probably every two or three days um and you'll have to let me know what kind of stuff you want to see or know or hear about or whatever like write it down in the comments like if you scroll all the way down down there write it down there and I will see that um, because otherwise I don't know what you guys want to see or know um, so also I think that this headset is broken 
So for the rest of the video, I'm gonna not use the headset and just use the phone speakers and see if it's better than this part of the video. And there's some weird bird stuff going on. So, um, I don't know what's going on with my hat either. Weird bird stuff. So, and then we're headed home to uh, show you the inside of the pack. So, here it is. <laughs> And it is like 24 pounds. It is ridiculous. But I blame all the dog's crap. I totally blame the dog. So I'm just going to pull everything out and show you guys. I'm going break myself. Um, this is what I will be wearing to start these hiking shirt and zip off Columbia hiking pants. Alright, so I do have a knife. It's probably too big too big. I have a big knife. <laughs> Hog sleeping bag, he's letting me borrow it. So, um, because it is about half as much weight as my sleeping bag was. Plus, everything you got. Oh no, it's not. There's one more thing steaks for the tarp. And I do have pepper spray on there because my family will be mad if they don't bring that. So I have, I have a little thing of sunscreen and I have my flashlight. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you guys, I didn't get a headlamp yet. I was hoping one would just find its way into my life. But it hasn't happened, so I guess it's just not meant to be. I tried to order one, it was too many decisions. Food container. It weighs the same as that little Tallini. What is that thing? Talenti. The Talenti container. And this weigh the same. So I'm taking this. Because I can fit more food in it without making an overflow mess, which always seems to be my problem. Alright, so there's everything, you guys. Okay, so what can I show you guys? I did get two of these butt pad seats. They're actually going to act as wings to go on either side of my air mattress. Um, but they also make a great handy seat for me or PR when we do stop to take a break. Um, gators, buff, waterproof socks, that's all. Doesn't need an explanation. Uh, my dog's coat. Okay, yes, this coat is a little excessive, but I guess it is waterproof, windproof. Um, if we get stuck in some kind of high wind storm or really cold weather, 
it would probably be very beneficial for PR to have something like this to warm up in or get out of the elements or at least keep the wind off him if we're hiking across some balds in um, really windy, cold, or rainy days. Um, so we have it. It's a just-in-case item, which means I will probably get rid of it early on once um, the cold weather is past. And I do have the little um, synthetic booties, sleeping booties, or um, mittens that I made out of the sleeves of my old Patagonia jacket. So just repurpose that. I have these dish gloves to go over my thin gloves. If it's um, raining out and I need to take the tarp down, I will use those. Uh, I have these little camp shoes. They're just super thin. They're filthy, dirty, fit kicks, I guess is what they're called. Um, but they're great to put on at camp or to use for water crossings so that you don't get your sneakers wet. I have the AT guide. I have the 2020 uh, edition coming. I have my raincoat. Um, I also have rain pants. Umbrella. Food bag with my cook system separate here. Fuel, everything's right in there. And then I usually eat out of that. Put my oatmeal in it to soak or whatever. Um, okay, let's see what's next. So, hammock with the straps and the uh, gear sling is also in there. Air mattress. It's the it's Hawks. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Neo X Light something something or other. It's big and it's yellow, and it's not wide enough for my shoulders, but it's certainly long enough and warm enough, and it matches my hammock. All right, I already threw that pillow out of here. I don't need that friggin' pillow. Um, the tarp, the stakes, I have four of them in there, and then I have the sleeping bag. Uh, yeah, so the Marmot Plasma, 15 degree compliments of Hawk mains everybody and then I have a sleeping bag liner with all my clothing in it actually it's like a laundry bag you guys outdoor vitals and the clothing that I have in here are just some fuzzy sleep socks I have uh, wool liner pants and a quick dry looking t-shirt. Um, I have a sleep shirt and pants. So um, liner shirt and pants. Then I have a sleep shirt and sleep pants, sleep socks. This stuff never gets wet. And I do have a little pair of shorts here, just a lightweight pair of running shorts. Um, and I have a couple bras and uh, some underwear. Nothing very fancy, just quick dry, um, lightweight stuff. I have some darn tough socks, some engine G liners and just some cheap little liner socks and i'll be wearing my other pair of darn tufts and my other bra i brought 
probably don't need both pair of these pants, like the liner pants, and then these sleep pants. I could probably just get away with one, except I'm not sure which one is the better pair. This one has pockets and seems to be a little bit warmer, but this one is wool blend and seems like it probably dries quicker and is possibly warmer when it's wet. Man, there's dog fur all over everything that I own. So I'm going to put these two to the test in some cold and wet conditions and see which one I should leave behind because I can't take all this crap. Then next we have PR's bag, which this is his sling bag that I can carry PR in. We have his bag of goodies. We have his harness, which he will probably just be wearing. It does have a handle on it so that I can help him over rough terrain. And then we have this bag. Okay, so Pierre has a black fleece coat. Um, or vest that I stitched for him out of a very thin piece of fleece that I was going to use for a blanket for him. Um, we also have the my old Patagonia jacket, which I sewed shut at the arms and the neck, left open at the stomach. I stitched the zipper closed because the zipper wasn't working right, so we removed that, stitched that closed, and now it is a bag for him. And the bag also fits inside this sling bag to create a cozy little carrying pouch for PR. So the whole thing fits right inside there, he fits right inside there, and then I can carry him into a store or while I'm setting up the hammock. And then, okay, this is his little fleece, then we have his food. So for a week, he goes through about a pound of food. Unfortunately, food comes in four pound bags. So when I buy a pound of food, a bag of food, I'm either going to have to throw three pounds away or carry all that extra weight. I'll have to put it in the hiker boxes. Um, yeah, so all of his food supplies are right in here. Usually I just pour his food into a bandana for him to eat out of. So he has a little KFC bowl that he drinks water out of. Um, we have a bag of poo bags. And, and then we have... Uh, oh, that's that extra rope. I'm actually going to throw this in with the stakes and my tarp. Um, but I like to tie Parson to the tree right under my hammock. Um, I'm using a little bit of rope when we get to camp. So that's what I will use that for. He has dog treats. And dog food, which is a combination of dehydrated food and his regular food in order to make enough calories for a week at um, the rate that he eats right now. So as we get further into the trail and start doing more miles, he's going to need more calories. And then I have my ditty bag. I guess I just have my um, knock water bag, which is a three liter, I think. Three liter knock water bag. So that's what I collect my water in at the end of the day and then filter it into my bottles. During the day, usually I just refill the one bottle that I'm drinking out of, but at night I like to stock up for cooking dinner and drink a lot of water at night. Right, what else do I have in here? I have extra batteries, I have a Sharpie, um, and a little hairbrush for 
PR in case he gets burdocks or anything stuck in his fur. That makes it really easy to get them out. And then we have the Musher's Secret, um, which I'll probably separate into some little Ziploc baggies because that's way too much to carry at one time. Um, I have a little bit of first aid stuff in here. I have my comb, water purification tablets, and all the first aid stuff that I had before. There's a lot of doggy supplies in there. And I also have all my dogs, heartworm meds, flea and tick meds, um, and just some sunscreen, and I think this is like athlete's foot cream in case, sometimes I carry powder too. Um, and then I just have... A uh, lighter. I have some nail clippers. I have uh, a small knife that has scissors, toothpick, tweezers, and it does have a little knife on there too. But I definitely need all of those things. And then I have some little elastic bands. I have um, some eye drops in case of emergency. Got something stuck in my eye. I really could just put that all in a plastic baggie and it would be a lot lighter than in that thing. That's probably what I will do when I reorganize this. But mostly this is stuff that I never use <laughs> unless there's an emergency or something. I mean, dog meds, yeah, I need those once a month for him. Mushers, we've never tried that before, but I think it will be beneficial to keep his paws from cracking. So we've started using it. So yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's everything. But, uh, I'd still like to lose five pounds here. Okay, guys. So, I guess the, there is one last thing, and that's my electronics. And I just have the, um, I have a fanny pack that I wear with my cell phone and, um, my anchor, which is a 20,000 milliamp and um, the cords. What else do I carry in there? Not much. Paperwork for my dog, like his rabies certificate and his papers, um, my license, and um, that's about it. Some memory cards. Um, not too much snacks but it's like another two pounds so I definitely need to figure out this weight situation I want to be under 20 pounds